It's Madden. Certainly the game of the weekend, maybe the game of the year, the battle of the unbeatens as we get underway. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. So here come the Eagles, the defending NFC champs, led out by a man who was the runner-up to Patrick Mahomes in MVP balloting a season ago. Of course, that's Jalen Hurts. And we already knew that Hurts was a good quarterback. But last year, he moved to elite status. Under his guidance, the Eagles returned to the Super Bowl and nearly won it. He's also one of the league's most dangerous players. Thrown for 38 touchdowns his last two seasons. And went for another great success. And now Allen. Still going. He can't stop him. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 34 yards there and a first down. He told us he wanted to have a big game running the football. He predicted well north of 100 yards. That's a heck of a start. And we thought he was just blustering, right? We thought he was just kind of talking and trying to maybe talk himself into it. He knew something, and now that confidence is going sky high. And they're already in plus territory. May not be the first game you think of with the Eagles offense, but Smith had an incredible 2022. 11th in the NFL catches, 9th in yards as the number two option in a run-heavy offense. First down there. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre. For the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead it 7-0. The drive there only spanning three plays and was polished off by the touchdown run from the 16-yard line. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Rams set to go to work on offense, and they're led by a man who topped the 50,000-yard mark in passing for his career a season ago. In year 15 now, here's Matthew Stafford. Stafford the Rams won it all in Super Bowl 56, but last season was a stark contrast to that. The Rams need their quarterback to recapture his form from two seasons ago to help spark another postseason run. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The numbers on the ground for Williams a week ago. There was no answer for him defensively. Over 200 yards, two touchdowns to boot. And that was a fun film to watch because a few of those runs, it was apparent he was just not going to be denied. And his team is hoping that that carries over to this week as well. Just throw on second down to Stafford. And his throw is going to be incomplete. You look at this Eagle defense. They come into this one ranked number 17, so just starting the bottom half of the league against the Pats. And those are the kind of plays that this unit needs to make because they know that going against a team of this magnitude and the way that they're playing, they cannot afford to let them get out of the way or chip away their time. Give them six yards in the first down. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. This one swung out to Williams. So just three yards on the completion there. And that will bring up second down. Throwing again at Stafford. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. Scott to return it. A pretty good punt, but a nice 13-yard return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Well, let's shine the spotlight on the former Georgia Bulldog, DeAndre Swift, who's set to begin this next drive. Whatever he was doing in September, they're hoping that that carries over now to October because he was sensational last month. He absolutely was, and we all know where it started. The end of last season, right? All 
all the off-season preparation, the weight workouts, the sprints, right? The vision that he had, what he was going to do this season. And of course, it all came together with the rest of the team. Those big fellows up front, leverage, and boy, are they getting downfield and creating extra blocks for them. They really are. Everyone's been doing their job so far to create those holes. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The Eagles in a perfect 4-0 to start the campaign. And they've been playing their best football of the year. Winners are four in a row. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. How about this offense already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? They certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7 0 lead, and they have to take a shot like that downfield. Hey, you're going to the. There he goes, left side. Inside the 10. through the air and the Eagles have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead Elliott good on the extra point and that'll make the score 14 to zip now after the touchdown here's Elliott on to kick it away from a yard or two deep here comes a return and out a little across the 25 to the 27 so the Rams coming back onto the field their second drive of the game They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Last week, of course, the great performance. Over 200 yards. He still wants to be fed. And they should. That's exactly what you should do. I have not yet met a running back. This run for over 200 yards. This says the very next week it was back to go. I don't need it as much. No, they want it more and more. They're going to be ready to go because they think that's going to happen naturally now. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. Up the middle, it's Williams. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. When you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Second and 10. Now it's Stafford. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 32-yard line. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Now a first down throw. Stafford will find a man over the middle. 2-2 two -two Atwell. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Here now, second and four. Play action, Stafford. Now a quick throw there, but it's gonna be incomplete. One thing that you're gonna see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. Pass taken in by his good tight end. And he's going to have a Rams first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Jordan Davis, just a monster on that play, stopping it from going anywhere. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. 
Here's second and 13. They run it again with Williams. Oh, a solid stiff arm in some open field. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Kyron Williams with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Rams have cut it back within a score. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone. I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground, and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. So that was a long 11-play drive. And it was capped off by the Kyron Williams touchdown run. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So here are the Eagles to take over. They're working on a four-game winning streak, and they lead this one as well right now as they start first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. You talk about this Rams defense. They enter play here number 11 just outside the top 10 in the league and stopping the run. I still crack up a little bit after we left our meeting with the defensive coordinator. Because I said to you, stop me if you've heard this before. <laughs> How about him saying, well, first order of business, we got to stop the run. Of course you do. He's got a good unit. But facing the number one rushing team, they have to stop that in order to have a good performance. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. Here's second and seven. As they've got it as we resume action. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there on 20 yards. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Hurts throw there, taken in by Smith. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Give him 30 yards there. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellows up front. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Hurts sets up to throw it. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Quez Watkins, his first touchdown on the year. And the Eagles have taken a two-touchdown lead now. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Elliott good with a PAT, and it's now 21 to 7. A drive that time of six plays, and it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25 yard line. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. That last drive it was a good mix run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit with play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. One play has... 
has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. 44 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Options galore here, second and a few inches. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. That's a gain of 13 first down Rams. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Now the first down carry, it's Williams. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. They'll try the air now with Stafford. And his throw is incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. DeAndre Swift and the Eagles back out there. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. They go play action with Hurts. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. Hurts. Hurts to throw. That is caught. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. Throwing on first down, but this one lines up to be incomplete. Now a second and ten. They run out of the gun with Swift. They are able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Seventh play in the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Throwing his hurts. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of four that time as the drive will continue. He'll look to throw. And he slings one that's incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Here, take it in as he's able to find Goddard. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 33. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. And that's patience to be admired right there because he looks left, looks right, and waits for the right guy to come open, spots him in the middle of the field, and delivers. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Again, he'll drop to throw. 
this is incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Second down. Here's Hurts. Well, that's going to be incomplete. But it looked like a march to the end zone instead of momentary work block with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? The kick by Elliott is good. And they will open things up a bit more. It's 24-7. to so he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Here's Kyron Williams running out for another possession. And the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes, you might want to swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space, and just don't get totally away from running it, because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with the run so far. Now Williams going to get it again on second down. And some room to work. And he is finally taken down, but not before he gets it to the Eagles, 34. 95 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school that one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Here's second and ten. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. But he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. And his kick is good. And that will close the gap down to 14. So three points there in CD. That helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, Barter, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. This fielded right at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Well, let's shine the spotlight on the former Georgia Bulldog, DeAndre Swift, who's set to begin this next drive. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the rest should be working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, they've had success getting the ball to him out of the backfield, but this time, they had a man right on him. He's able to break that play up before he could get started. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it here. Why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward and pick up that first. So from the 36 now, first and 10.
They'll look to throw. This is Smith with the ground. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. That one goes for 24 yards. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And it's complete right back in the hands of Smith. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. From the gun, it's Hurts. Completes to Zacchaeus. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Forced out to his left. Able to slither by. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, you'll have to cut this at a tight angle. The kick by Elliott is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one. Well, we'll move right through the break then, skipping halftime and back to the field for the start of the second half. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. From the gun, here's Stafford. Throw left side, complete to Cup. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Okay, so now the question, how did he get that wide open? Well, we both know that he shouldn't because from the time they handed out scouting reports before this game, he was circled, starred, everything. Find him, cover him. But sometimes you can scheme a guy open. You put the receivers in a bunch. Maybe you move some motion. Maybe you put him on the backside of a formation, and all of a sudden you've got a better matchup. Every now and then, the offensive guys, they figure a way to get him open, even with everyone keeping eyes on him. And that's certainly a guy they want to keep trying to scheme open. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Out of the gun, Stafford. Ah, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. Here comes the Rams punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. It'll be a net of 40 yards there following a 43-yard punt, three-yard return, and it will be Eagles football first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. But first down, Hurts fires the quick slant. A.J. Brown's got it. That is catch number 300 now for his NFL career. Second down and three. They'll run right here with Swift. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Well, 
praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, rush coming, and he's taken down. Bobby Brown able to get him down for a loss of 11, and it brings up fourth down. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. The Eagles send out their punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Taken right around the 44. We call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Rams are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over. Now a first down throw. Stafford going to be taken in here by Nakua. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. From the 42-yard line, here's the second and four. Now it's Stafford. He'll get this one to cup complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It'll be a first down for the Rams there on a pickup of 18. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. They'll hand it off now. Williams. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Back to throw, Stafford. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. So on fourth down, Sean McVay going to send out the field goal unit. He hit his first, this one from 38. And his kick is good. And that will close the gap down to 14. So that may be not exactly what they were hoping for, but it does get him back within a couple of scores. And at this point in the third quarter, you don't have much margin for error, and that means you can't have drives that end with nothing. Whether it's a punt, a turnover, a turnover on downs, those have to go away. You have to end with a kick, either a field goal or an extra point after a touchdown. Eagles set and ready for their next offensive drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to spring together a nice drive and help themselves out. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 98 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ballgame. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And a shift past him. And boy, it's tough to bring him down that time. He surges forward. He's going to get a full six out of that. Second down. From the 38 now, here's a second down and four. Swift going to try up the middle, and they will only muster a yard here to the 38. But when you go from second and four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play. Huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. An effective seven-yard third-down conversion. So first and ten now from the 30. Option handoff for Gainwell. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Here's Hurts to throw. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And Goddard going to have an Eagles 
his first down as he gets this down to the 13-yard line. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And here he'll get it down to the seventh. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Hurts sets up to throw it. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Throwing his Hurts. Zacchaeus, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Elliott good on the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard game. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit. That might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. Now a handoff. Here's Williams. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Los Angeles. It's the Rams trailing, but they do have the football as we start the fourth and final quarter. Here's Stafford now on second down. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown, LA. Puka Nakua. And the Rams have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead will be cut down to 14. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. DeAndre Swift and the Eagles back out there. Thus far, he's been quite the dual threat. Touchdown on the ground, another through the air. He's just so versatile, isn't he? He is, and he's exactly what I think we're looking for in the NFL now out of the running back position. Guys who can do everything running it, but also act as receivers. And I don't just mean, you know, the, the, the stopgap guys. I don't mean safety valve. I'm talking about big-time parts of it, whether they're going to split out, whether they're going to swing out of the backfield. Sometimes they act like a true wide receiver, and he's having that type of a game in this one. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep it going in both phases. Let's see. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. 
So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. Here's a handoff to Swift. 124 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? And Devontae going to pick up the Eagles' first down as he'll be brought down at the 27. This short throw caught by Goddard. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, here comes Swift. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing Touchdown! A.J. Brown. 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles are well on their way to a 5-0 start as they extend their lead. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Elliott good with a PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. L.A. set to take over again on offense. And their four-game win streak very much in jeopardy as they go to work here late with the first and 10. Throwing a Stafford. Screenplay set up for Williams. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, back door to them, and that time, looked well for a solid game. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Stafford on first down. Pass complete there to Nakua. You've got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Desperation time for Stafford on fourth down. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. Now they've clearly made a conscious decision here to be more aggressive in the late stages of this game here in the second half. And I get it. In this situation, you know, if you want to be aggressive out near midfield, you feel good about your defense maybe, or just, hey, I thought I had a proper play call. But how about the guys that just stopped them? How good do they feel right now? Uh, hey, you want to go for it here? We shut you down. They're over on the bench right now feeling great. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Play action. Here's Hurts. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. A 
fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full play ball no matter who's on the field. It's a gain of four, and it gives them the first. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. From the 32-yard line now, here's a second down at six. At the 32-yard line. Once again, it's Swift. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. It's a gain of 22 as we tick towards the two-minute warning. Brandon, every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about running them into submission. Uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he'll find his way down inside the ten to the nine-yard line. Two yards on pickup there. It'll be second and eight. From the gun, here's Swift. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. Give him eight yards there. Still a few inches to go, though, as it'll be third down at about the length of the football. On the handoff, this is Swift. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. DeAndre Swift, his third touchdown of the game, number 11 on the year. And the Eagles have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. We said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. A higher-scoring game, Charles, than we typically see in the National Football League. But fun to watch these offenses. They were really clicking. It seemed like everything that they dialed up worked. Yeah, it certainly was fun to watch from our perspective. I'd like to be those defensive coaches, though. That wasn't a blast for them at all. And let's face it, they all game plan. They all scout. They all think they're prepared. But executing and stopping teams, that's another matter entirely. So for Philadelphia, they improved to five.